Okay, hello everyone, it's me Nicholas, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a ring gloss in your game. Okay, first of all, here is what you're going to need. You're going to need at least one ground object, an enemy, a coin sprite, and a character sprite. For objects, you're going to need two character objects, one coin object, a coin lose object, that's what we're going to be using with an enemy object, a ground object, a display object, shows your score, and a set game object. And you'll need at least one room. Okay, let's get char started, shall we? Okay, now we're going to go to coin lose here. And we need the add an event, a uh, create event. Now this will set the gravity to 7, to 270 is down. And we'll make it 0 0.5. This makes a coin loss smooth. Okay, now let's go ahead and add another event. Now we need to add a collision with the ground. A collision with the ground. Okay, we're going to make it bounce off of objects, not precisely, in solid objects. Hey, check mark. Now we're going to add another event. A collision event with object character. We're gonna go down to score. Gonna right click this, set the score to one, and check relative. That will add one to your total. Okay, now let's take a look here. Here's the cursor. Okay, now we got our ground object, a character object, and a create object. Now, let's take a look. Yep, I think we got everything we need here. I think this is okay. Now we need to go to object character. We need to add a create event. Okay. We have to go to control. And I already did it. Oh, maybe I didn't. Okay. Set variable L shoot underscore D I R one to zero. This will make it go up. I will do copy paste paste. We'll do three for this tutorial. Now all you have to do for each one is just increase the number. And just make this number whatever you want. Remember, zero is up, ninety is right. Eat, I think. Two, one eighty is down. Two seventy is left. I think. Okay. Okay. So we'll make this go diagonal that way. So then we'll make. Shooter 3, we'll make this 315. Okay, now when you create, it will set these variables. Okay, now you're all, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that you also need a platforming engine, because this requires gravity. Okay, now we need to add an event, add a collision event with your enemy. Now, once you have a collision event with your enemy, you had to put this first, or else it won't work. If you're adding lives, you don't need to do you can you don't need to do this for your first thing. If score equals okay, so if score equals zero, we want to make it control start of a block, end of a block. We're going to make it restart the room. If you don't want that to happen, or if you just want to make it bounce off infinitely. Oh, it cancel. Hit the wrong one. Yeah, restart room. I'm not going to do an effect for this one, because my computer is slow. Okay, now we're going to make it to where it will bounce off of the enemy. The enemy is solid, I think. 
Okay, now that the... Now we have to do... Oh yeah, it's a move. We have to... Bounce off against solid objects. Not precisely, that slows it down. And then we want to make it change into an object. Okay, hang on a second. I think it's in... Yeah, main one. Change into... Yeah, make sure this is checked as yes. Object character 2. This is the one that can't collect the coins. Okay. Now watch closely and be sure to catch along. You may need to pause the video. Because this is going to take a while. Let's see here. The score is equal to zero. Now we need to make it. The score is two larger than. Control, start of a block, end of a block. We need to do main one, create moving instance. Object coin lose. Let's make the speed 2.5. And direction shoot. Hang on. Underscore third one. Okay. It's like copy. Paste and paste again. Third. Two. All you have to do is change the direction for each of these. <sighs> now we want to do score again. Now another score. Score is equal to two. Make it start of a block, end of a block. Paste and paste. For this one we won't include the three. But we will include their. Oh, yeah, we won't include their one. Direction one. And now, down here, if it's equal to one, we need to. Okay, let's see here. Oh, yeah, start of a block, end of a block. a moving instance hang on cancel I should have just did copy and paste paste oops it's only did it there here shoot direction three now as you can see here now we have to set the score to zero every time we get hit Now we need to do this every time for each thing, and it cannot be related. If it's related, it won't delete the score. You may want to pause the video during these things, and you all. And if you want to have lives in this, you can put lives. But if you want to make it room restart, you have to put this first. If you put this at the bottom, once you lose your coins, it'll just kill you. Okay. Now that this is done, okay, now I better go and check object enemy, see if it's solid. Okay, it's solid. And now let's go and test it out and see if it works. So they may not have destroyed the coins. Let's see if it works. Oh, what do you know? 
something strange going on here. Yeah. Okay, but you get the idea, people. I think I have figured it out, but I think there's something wrong with my card driver. Okay. Let's escape this and figure out what's going on here. Lose. Object character. Oh, wait a second. Hang on a second. I forgot to set a timer for this. Oh, yeah. I forgot something, people, but you have to set a timer. So set alarm zero to 150 steps. It'll last for five seconds. Add event alarm zero. Now with alarm zero, we want to make it destroy the instance. Now let's go and check our character again, see what's going on here. So once you create it, that happens. This, this, score is equal to zero. Bounce against solid objects. Let's create a moving instance. Oh, sorry people, I forgot to check relative. Yeah, you have to check relative for this. I always forget that. So right after I'm done checking relative. You can just skip ahead of this part. Relative means that it'll just drop right where your character is. Relative. And I think it should work. I can't remember how I did this before. But let's do save. Then let's play it and see what happens. Yeah. You can make a more advanced game if you want using this. It won't go like this. Yep, I think it's working now. You see how the coins got lost? Yep, coins got lost. Now you see, you can have it the where when they drop, they destroy. I'm just going to quickly get it, but you know the big idea. It is coin lose. It collides with object character. Oh yeah, of course, forgot to set it again. Okay, now let's save it. Okay, it's gonna work now. If you guys caught all those parts, just look for the correct parts. They know I did some stuff wrong, because I can't actually remember how I did this that good. So as you can see, when you drop your coins, they will start bouncing for about five seconds. Mm-hmm. You can make it do more if you want. But you get the idea. Now, if you all paid attention long enough, you get a little surprise at the end. Let's better save this. This is a gaming game maker that I'm working on. It's Stick Figure Adventures. It uses the same stuff as this. Yeah, it just changes the camera. Mm -hmm. You can put in this stuff later. But you'll get the big idea once you see how it's supposed to work. I put in more stuff, but you don't have to. Yeah, it's kind of hard. Yeah, I'm going to put down the camera for a second. Okay, I'm at the park. See, this is how it should work. Like that. 
and what I'm making it to where if you get hit, you lose a life. Okay, that's all folks. Bye.